Hey, Brett the Stock Picker here. Oh, I just got out of the steam room, did a little hot tub. Mwah. Oh, feel like a million bucks. And speaking of a million bucks, that's what I'm trying to get to, as well as I'm sure a lot of you out there. If you want to join me on my journey and get in there, click subscribe, leave comments. Let's talk about this. Let's do this. Let's share with each other. It'll be fun, the process of getting there. Right? No one said it would be easy, but the journey is worth it. All right. So we're in the journey right now with all the struggles going on. I just wanted to share with you my top stock picks that I have in my portfolio right now. So if you're more into like the penny stocks, for example, or short term, you know, higher risk, higher reward, um, I like INND. So this is Interscope Hearing. This is um, an OTC stock. So, um, you know, the FDA approved over the counter hearing aids, which will start to hit in quarter four once they roll out these products. Their earnings have already shown tremendous growth. Um, and now with that, that will be another catalyst. So I like that as a short-term play at least. So this stock was at 0 0.09 at one point at its highs back last year. And right now it's at 0 0.019. So if it could at least get halfway back to where it was, you know, we're talking about a three bagger there. So I like that one and it came down a little bit. It went up to like 0 0.027, now it's at 0 0.019. Ideally, I'd like to get it around 0 0.015, but this is a pretty good price under 0 0.02. And like I said, might have to hold it for a little bit, but get through Q4, maybe into Q1. Um, this is a company that could get bought out because a lot of big companies are gonna be coming into this industry, so it'll get competitive. I could see them getting bought out by, it'd be nice if Amazon did or something, but some company to stay ahead of the competition. Um, another one in my portfolio is Axum, A-X-S-M. So they just had their depression drug, FDA approved, and this is not just any depression drug, this is the first in 60 years that's a rapid acting quick depression drug. So first one on the market, and again, that's a quarter four rollout with that as well, so their numbers are gonna be really good looking in Q4, Q1, so I like that similar to you know INND holding into quarter four, quarter one. So this was at 100 at one point, a little over, and right now it's looking at about $62 a share it's pulled back a little bit on a dip here, which is nice, it was in the low 70s. So I like this as an entry point because we got price targets, you know, at 150, 162, you know, is the high end. Actually, there was a one that was 210. Um, there's, you know, 75, there's a lot of different price targets, but average in the 100. So I like this stock to at least get back to its all time highs of 100. So that's another great uh, short term play there. Um, I like that one. And then for my long term holdings, I have Upstart. UPST, which is disrupting the loan sector. So this is artificial intelligence. You know, instead of FICO, which has, you know, four data points, you know, that banks use when deciding on whether to, you know, loan to somebody or not, you know, Upstart's artificial intelligence uses hundreds of data points to better decide if someone's worthy of a loan. Not only are more banks able to um, loan out to more people, but there's the default rate is less as well because of their more data points to look at. So um, I like that one, that's my long-term holding. I plan to hold that through generations, pass it down to my kids. I like that one just because it has a moat. You can't just come into the industry and do what they're doing. They have you know 10 plus years of artif artificial intelligence learning through all these loans and now going through a recessionary environment. It's only getting smarter with their AI. So I like that stock long-term. That's where I have a, a big chunk of my money. And then the other chunk of my money is in Annaly, N-L-Y, which you've heard me talk about which is has a 13.5% dividend right now. I just have that deposited right to my bank every quarter. And it's nice having that paycheck or second income coming in. Like I said, especially in this environment right now where things are crazy, the whole market, you know, no, there's not really a good sector to put your money. You might as well put it in a high dividend stock that's beating inflation. And Annalie is a mortgage REIT and they're backed by the federal, by the government. And uh, it's a pretty safe place right now to put your money. So that's where I'm at right now with my holdings and I'm gonna be looking to add to my long-term holdings more in quarter four, um, probably end of quarter four, or early quarter one, um, when things settle down a little bit. Um, I don't think we're at the bottoms yet, but we're getting there, so. Um, but close enough, if you have a long-term mindset, this is not a bad entry point. So you guys all have a great weekend. Take care.